What is up, my termination? Shout out to the gamer here, back from my Rory McIlroy PGA Tour, and it's time for us to take on the third round of the Career Builder Challenge. We're sitting 12th place, 4 under. <clears throat> Trying to make up some spots for Serena to win her first real tournaments since the web.com tour champion, since the web.com tournament, which she won to get her card. So here we go, third round. So we can make some ground up and possibly win this thing. Presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Hello again and welcome, I'm Rich Lerner and beside me is my friend and colleague Frank Nabilo. We're in the state of California, set to kick off the round here at the challenging PGA West course. Par 72 setting up as a demanding challenge to any golfer stepping on this course, especially, Frank, when it comes down to the 17th hole. They call it Alcatraz. Well, as we know, hardly anybody gets out of Alcatraz. You want to throw a little nugget in? In 2000, Joe Daly looked like he was going to get his tour card, hit a putt from three foot, hit the liner, bounce back out. A lot of things can happen on 17. And we pick up action at the fourth. All right, we'll get things started. This would be a good time to get it going. Made some pars to this point, but if you want to win, you have to make birdies. Rich, I think the thought of winning has to be removed from one's psyche right now. You've just got to worry about what's in front of you. It just looks confused. Forgetting about playing the actual game itself. This isn't winning happens by a series of good shots. It's get back to the basics of playing golf. All right, let's take our first shot of the third round. See what we can do. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Holy what shit, that almost the whole shot one. making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. If I didn't, if I didn't hit the flag I post, with the tap. if I didn't hit the flag post, it would have went in for a hole in one. I can't believe that. And there's really no point in this. I could just knock it, I could just kick it in with my foot. Easiest birdie ever. A good birdie right there, Frank. Oh, time to get another cup of coffee. Things are heating up. Frank, this looks like a fun hole. The first par five of the day, 535 yard fifth. Yeah, as long as you've got something that doesn't go left off the tee shot and doesn't go right off the second shot, you'll be fine. Let's have some fun with this one. Not full strength, but hit it pretty darn good. Ninety-four. That's a good start to the hole, right down the middle. Good lie in the fairway. A good chance to make something happen here. Well, this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. <laughs> Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Overshot it. That's all right. Getting set for this next shot from the rough. What does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Damn. Who do you try? Up next. Almost got an eagle. I could have just put a little more spin on it, I would have had it. Easy birdie here, though. Easy tapping. Back to back birdies, we'll see. Would have loved an eagle, but I'll take another birdie for sure. Racking them and stacking them right now. Six under par for the tournament. Frank, a long par three here at the sixth, 255 yards. Club selection, obviously, is crucial. Yeah, and length is uh, is very important here. Something that, that can fly high and land soft is obviously going to make that green play a little bit bigger. If you get a breeze off the right or left to right into, this hole becomes very challenging. Hey, 
I want to go full strength because I might overshoot it. Hazard? Maybe wet? Not quite. On the green in regulation. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Would prefer to get a little closer, but it looks like a straight in shot. You couldn't ask okay. for much more than that, except to make it. Step it in. Locked in on the read and the speed. Can't party everything. Sometimes hold and serve with par will help you too. Like a solid par right there maintains his position. Her position. We're at the seventh now, 346 yards with plenty of water on that right side. How do you handle this one, Frank? You've got to pick a target there. A lot of people think when they're laying up off the tee, and that's exactly what this hole is, you just blaze away at something down the left side. But if you're going to pick a tree, don't just pick the tree. Pick a branch or a leaf. Be more specific. Oh, man, you heard the sound of that one. Overshot it. That's a long right. drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Like a machine out set up. there. Another green in regulation. She has a birdie opportunity right here. Three birdies in four holes. I'll take that every day of the week. And you made all alone the first try. Three shots that behind off. now. Looks like Martin Keimer is making his move. Why the mention him? Round Frank and a good spot heading to the final 18. All right, yeah, to be second. in the top five right now, the caliber of this field know that uh, your game is good enough too, and, and a legitimate chance of taking home the trophy come tomorrow night. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment right now. Okay, let's see exactly where we are. Three behind. We can make it. Be back for the last round momentarily. All right, what do you say we go to that final round so we can't bring home a championship? Even if we don't, she's performing very well. This is EA Sports. EGA Tour coverage coming up next. Should be a fun last round. Today it's live final round coverage of the Career Builder Challenge. You see it? Oh, we're actually. Oh, damn. Davis really is good. He's got a five stroke lead on us. I think he's got it guaranteed. Now at the 15th, par 4, 468 yards, it is nicknamed Turning Home as we are making our way towards the close of this round. Well, take our first shot of this hole, number Joey. All right, first shot of this round, here we go. Probably aren't able to, we probably won't be able to catch the leader as he's got a five-stroke lead and only got four holes left, but you can give it a shot. So here it goes. Frank, the Skins game was played at PGA West, the stadium course, many years ago. 1987, Lee Trevino did something that, that really uh, stood out with a lot of fun. Yeah, to make a hole-in-one anywhere is, is obviously something to, to be remembered. But when you do it on TV, national TV, and on a hole like 17, Alcatraz all the way across the water, everybody complained about how hard the golf course was, and Trevino gives it that little bang, little cut, bang, in it goes, one. Um, Trevino could play any golf course, no matter how hard it was. It, it, it was a one that was worth one 
175,000 bucks. That won him the carryover skin in the skins game. On the green, I'm looking at a birdie opportunity. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Good roll, solid, that's a par. Here we go now, the final par five of the day, Frank. Yeah, decision on how much you bite off here. If you play the ball to the right, then it's gonna play its full 600 yards. But if you can take it in a direct line at that green, you're gonna chew off a little bit of yardage, but you have to be able to carry that bunker. And through the years, a lot of excitement here at this par five 16th. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Green and plus. Frank, these days golfers are training like high-level athletes from other sports. Rory McIlroy, for example, has been using a guy by the name of Steve McGregor who happened to be the trainer for the New York Knicks of the NBA. And part of his training now is high altitude. Um, the majority of the medal holders, for example, in the Olympics, uh, or medal winners in the Olympics, actually use high altitude training. You know, you can develop more red blood cells in a shorter period of time. But, um, you know, golf, we've had so many different types of training from the athlete side. But you go back to the old days of Henry Cotton beating an old time. And we the the Even the rhythm of Sam Snead, he used to count in the rhythm. It was one, two, three. It was one at the top of the swing, two at impact, and three at the follow through. All those things are still very valid today. There no eagle, but easy bird. You like this one, Frank? Oh, it's a good one. Safely on. Even par, currently. And first in a tie for second. And with that birdie, moves into second place. Well, let's see, Frank. The par 3 17th, just 168 yards. You can't miss it right, can't miss it left, can't miss it short, you can't miss it long. Good luck. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Hoping to get this up and down here, Frank, at the par three after missing the green. Yeah, it's not all bad. Just missed that one. This one just requires a little bit of focus. All right, last hole. Continues to roll it very well all day long. Gonna come up a few strokes short. That's okay. Well, Frank, hopefully we'll definitely the be better. We'll today definitely be uh, a pretty good frame yeah. of mind. If we'll not, you have to be thinking. Oh, here sure. we go again. Water left. I mean, you you could shoot a hundred out here on this golf course if you don't have your best stuff. Yeah, this is a, another example of. Um, you, you're right. If you've got the bad mojo going, uh, this is not the hole you want to be playing. Water left. Bunkers right. Um, somewhere in between, though, this fairway. Good spot right there. Center cut. All right, the wings are starting to pick nice. up. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. What's the right way to approach it? Well, you've really got to find out, first of all, the direction of the wind. Uh, and you have to be certain of it right now. And plus, if there's a gust, um, that's, that's something you can't, you know, you've got no control over.
Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Easy, Brody, to finish off the champ. Tournament. This will be a five foot putt here. Told you. Easy, Brody. Really hitting on all cylinders now. Nine under for the tournament. Well, not quite a champ, but came damn That'll close. That'll put a wrap on our final round coverage for all of us at EA Sports. I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time. And Brian Davis guy, he just had a better day than we did. Sometimes that happens, you know. Finish second. Three strokes off. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So she doesn't win the tournament, but she comes in second place. I'll take that. Tied for second in the uh, FedEx Cup standings. Not bad. 25 points should have it. First time in her career, Serena O'Neill finished in the top 10 of a PGA tournament when she played second at the Career Builder Challenge at PGA West TPC Stadium Course of Patrick Gannon. O'Neill carded a 2 under 70 in the final round of capital for best performance in the PGA tour thus far. Well, we got the BioWare Classic coming up for Serena next. So we'll be seeing. Well, I think I could go back to Ted Storm for the next video, but that's what that's what Serena has ahead of her, and, and the next time we play as her. So till next time, it's your boy Chun Sing on Out. Remember to like the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the Nation today. If you have any game questions in the comments studio or my Twitter feed at realccd underscore yt, also check my hand out. No sweat hats having fun. I was saying no hot air for that sort of thing, and let you do know that all our videos are legitimate by fighting the viewers. Till next time, peace out.